What's up guys and welcome back to my channel Guys as you can see from this poster Today take a look all campaign posters This is Avondale residential area I'm taking on a bus Friday the 13th a day after elections It is after 15 hours and I'm going to the streets to check on the streets. Check this is a military vehicle. Police everywhere. This is Zambia police, as you can see, security. Everywhere you move, there's literally security uh, patrolling the whole city of Lusaka. I don't know about other cities. No one I'm talking about Lusaka. This is Manda Hill. Take a look. This is Manda Hill Station. Take a look at the station. Quiet. Look at the roads. Deserted. Everyone is home. No much business. The roads. I wondered why the roads. I've never seen. I can't remember the last time I saw it. Maybe the first time when COVID was announced. When people were indoors. This is when I saw that. Take a look at the streets. This place is... All the time there are vehicles. You won't believe this is Great East Road. This is Adisababa Road. Take a look as well. You can only see one vehicle once in a while. So I'm on a drive in this road. Please watch this video up to the end. I'm going to take you on the busiest street in Lusaka, Zambia, known as Cairo Road. Then I will take you to another over congested residential area known as Kanyama area. Yes, guys. So watch this video up to the end. I'm up to something. So my video for today is so unique. Instead of me showing you the normal residential areas, I decided uh, while waiting for the election results, I want to show you the mood in Lusaka. Like I've already started showing you, the streets are empty. Number two, there is the presence of the military, the Zambia police, the police, and then there are also Zambia army, we are the soldiers, Zambia National Service, so we have the military on the street uh, who are trying to keep peace. Why all these things, if you may ask? It's because... Uh, it is to come because sometimes the election results can result into anarchy. So while waiting for the results, um, people cleared off the street. No business. Everyone is glued either to the phone or to TV. But the phone, not so much, guys. So sad news. Something which has never happened in Zambia. Uh, government has shattered the internet. There is no Facebook in Zambia. As I'm talking to you, Friday the 13th, it was shut down the previous day, 12th, the day of voting. They shut down WhatsApp. They shut down Facebook. So no Facebook in Zambia as I'm talking to you. So you can only, as, I, as I'm doing even this video, we do it, there is a smarter way where people who still want internet by all means like some of us who have to produce content for you we are using what is known as the vpn so the vpn when you do vpn you are able to do a bypass so we are doing the virtual private network take a look we are now entering uh, lusaka town this is the cabway roundabout there's a bus coming from another city take a look Guys, this place is super congested. If you understand what I'm saying, comment down below. But what is happening right now, guys? I'm sorry, but I have to tell you like we've been expecting. We are just waiting for the official announcement to announce uh, the president who has won. Take a look at the shops closed. But me, I took courage, guys. I had to enter the empty street just to produce a video for so that I'm not just talking from without. This is my country, guys. So I felt I should make content for you. I took to the street to check, to physically check. Take a look. By the way, all the stations where I was passing through, there are stations 
where cadres run the station they have all run away no cadres in green they are out from the streets why because they are scared as we are talking right now guys we are just waiting for official confirmation because clearly speaking president hh the opposition leader known as hh has won but we are just waiting for official announcement because they have representative at every polling station so they have done their total calculation but the, there is a delay in announcing and that is what is causing anxiety otherwise the streets are clear people are so much in panic they are not really like maybe the stakeholders are, are panicking but the shops remain closed because people are scared so now let me take you on cairo road cairo the busiest street in lusaka zambia take a look what's up guys you can see guys this is the busiest road in lusaka see one car i'm on cairo road guys this is the busiest road friday the 13th Maybe, wow, wait a minute friday the 13th there's something unusual which is said about friday the 13th as you can see in a normal day guys not even on a sunday i can't walk on this street like this so this is the cairo road and i'm just showing you <laughs> how it looks like on a day like today guys it's empty why people are anxiously waiting people are anxiously waiting for the results to see who will win like i said by now the pf the ruling government which is now the outgoing government cleared guys by now it would have been congested heavily congested by now but as you can see the streets are empty yes guys this is society business park cairo road empty guys no one is there so that's why i'm showing you just the mood of lusaka right now by now these guys i'm sure uh would have seen a lot of the ruling cutters on the street celebrating but clearly it's not their time so that's why the streets are empty people there is a little bit of uncertainty but majority voted guys so that's what is happening me cross this other side I'm trying to cross this side that's society business park guys one of our best buildings yeah and behind me oh by the way today I forgot my my gimbal my selfie stick i forgot my selfie stick guys behind there is the main post office yes the lusaka main post office i'm facing the sun it's a sunny day there is a popular chemist here i don't know whether you guys know it some of you may know it is known as Cairo chemist closed but there there is the, our popular the best ice cream guys in Lusaka the best ice cream shop is known as um, the best ice cream shop in in Lusaka is known as um, Creamland so that's Creamland guys so i'm on chiparamba road these are busiest places guys when you are on this street almost everywhere it is impossible to find the parking space but it's empty so why am i here 
I'm here guys just to show you uh, what is happening. Just to show you the mood of the people, the mood of the city. That's why I came to the city center, just to give you content. I'm travel tenement, that's why I traveled to town to get you content. So this is the show for today. What happens on Friday the 13th? We voted yesterday and the results uh-huh the results have started coming in guys and most of the places like i'm saying most of the places um most of the places which are dominate uh, have been dominated by the opposition who is likely the incoming president hh i want to look at this clothing material here Yes, there. That clothing material in green. But uh, everywhere is sad. And now, there's another place, guys, eh, which is normally. Mm, where I am right now, I'm at town center. Yes, I'm at town center. Guys, this place is dominated and rude by uh, the PF, the Patriotic Front Cadres. Guys, these guys, they take the country like they own it. They behave as if they own it. So that's why I brought you in many places so that you can see. But they are sad. They are the ones who operate here. There are no organized shelters. All right, now I take you to Kanyama. I'm coming from a place known as Jogate, in a road which was formerly known as Los Angeles Road. Los Angeles, yes, Los Angeles in America, the American city or the American state known as Los Angeles Road. This, remember, this is Kanyama. This is one of the most densely populated, actually it is number one most densely populated uh, townships or residential areas or ghetto in Lusaka, Zambia. But you take a look, quiet street no activity guys once again guys if you are new on my channel please subscribe turn on bell notification and give this video a thumbs up i produce videos regularly if anything i produce videos daily take a look at the streets the streets are quiet empty why oh by the way this road is no longer los angeles street it has been changed this street is now called kalusha Buaria street kalushabwari happens to be zambian football legend african footballer of the year 1988 he was the football association of zambia president in the year 2012 when zambia won the afcon africa cup of nations yes this is what this road has been named after kalushabwari it has been renamed so take a look at los angeles road empty no activity People are anxiously waiting, like I said. HH, Hakainde Ichirema has taken lead. And it's like known already, but they are just waiting for official results. Otherwise, the guy is leading. He is likely, like in my previous video, I would just briefly talk about it, that he is likely to be the next president of the Republic of Zambia. Did you expect that? Yes, I said it in one of my videos. I never just wanted to... To concentrate so much on politics but otherwise this video is just to show how kanyama looks like look at the stands where people trade empty here there are always buses vehicles empty take a look at people imagine how i went guys you mean i went this far guys just to make content for you please guys support me subscribe to my channel I, I get my own information. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, turn on bell notification and give this video a thumbs up. Guys, I really, really appreciate the people who have been coming to my channel. 
I produce mostly uh, property reviews. I review nice things about places. That is what I do on my channel. Otherwise, thank you so much. From Kalushabwaria Street in Soweto. This is Soweto Market. I say thank you so much for coming to my channel and always coming back. See you in my next video. Peace.